Nearly 5,000 people a year die from choking in the U.S. And if it starts to happen to someone you love, you've only got a matter of minutes, sometimes just seconds to act. The Heimlich maneuver is the gold standard, but now there are devices that offer an additional option. Check it out. Serena Dansker remembers the terror when a hot dog got lodged in her son Jake's throat. He's okay now, but that isn't the only scare the mom of triplets has faced. I can tell you that my kids have choked on spaghetti. They've choked on hot dogs, and it's, it's terrifying. So she recently jumped at the chance to buy an anti-choking device invented by a family friend. You can never have too many devices or too much ammunition to save your child. Serena has life vac, another first aid choking device, the de-choker. The two vary slightly in design, but basically work the same. Put a mask over the choking victim and use suction to hopefully dislodge whatever is stuck. What does the American College of Emergency Physicians think? I have an open mind about the new devices on the market for choking. Dr. Angela Gardner says she simply doesn't know if the devices work for the general population, but she could see how people at high risk for choking may benefit. Patients with Parkinson's disease or MS, for example. She is concerned, however, when it comes to using them on small children. The thing to remember is that children have very um, large tongues relative to the size of the airway and a lot of care would have to be had for using these in children. The FDA told us it has not approved or cleared a medical device specifically to open an airway or facilitate breathing in a first aid or rescue choking emergency. The agency clarified that it hadn't approved anything to substitute for or assist in the Heimlich maneuver. Medical professionals and the device companies we talked to stress that the Heimlich is always the preferred first line of defense. The Heimlich maneuver is easy to master. It is intuitive. Serena feels there's no such thing as too many safety backups for her family. You have a sense of security just knowing that there's something else if the Heimlich doesn't work. Life back costs about $70 and the de-choker about $90. I know some people feel a little eerie about the whole thing and how yeah, much but Do it first if you can, right? right.